Today we are back out on the farm on the Lone Oak Farm map. We recently purchased this farm earlier this week. Today we will be starting work here as a farmer. The previous person that owned this farm had a few fields that were ready for harvest and we will be tackling those today. Let's hop here in the 04 Power Stroke and head over to the shop. For today's harvest, we do need to purchase a few new things. We need to buy an auger wagon to be able to empty out uh, the combine while it's uh, full on the field. We don't want to be taking the full uh, semi-truck, otherwise more than likely uh, we'll be just getting that stuck. And one thing we need is a low boy to be able to transport equipment from the town to our farm. And also a few other things that I noticed were missing from the farm, which we'll be buying as we continue and kind of grow in uh, kind of income here for the farm. So let's kind of come over here and I think we'll get the combine ready to go, but and, and then we'll head into town. Luckily, we bought this uh, farm from an auction at a great price, and it did some uh, pretty good equipment come with it. So we do have this 2001 9560 John Deere. Uh, this is an okay size in the future. Probably next harvest season, uh, we'll be coming out with new harvesters. But we got to get this done uh, because we do a lot, a lot more things to come. And I definitely want to buy some animals. I think that will be a great revenue area for uh, the farm. One thing I noticed, we do not have a header trailer. It looks like uh, the previous farmer just kind of uh, found ways to cut corners and not have all the equipment. And that is something that we will not be doing because we definitely need uh, everything here. So let's kind of get everything attached, ready to go. And we do have to put the PTO. Uh, we got the wires and the PTO now. I'm not sure which side we have to go to for the PTO, but uh, that is something that we definitely need or else uh, the header won't work. Let's see, okay, so the uh, wires and PTO are ready to go. So let's kind of leave this here warming up. It's uh, been sitting for quite a long time. Let's hop in the old Ford Semi and head into town. We'll be picking up that little boy in the auger wagon. They should have a tractor at the uh, dealership for us to be able to do that. But this is one awesome truck. Look at this, guys. This is one sweet Ford. I'm excited to be back here with uh, the farming series. This is kind of a new role play series I'm doing here on the channel. Let me know down below if you guys would like me uh, to continue to do it. This old Ford uh, 9000 LTL is one nice truck. He kept it in good condition, luckily. And over the last few days, I did get all the equipment switched over to my name, and we are good to go. Now, the field we will be harvesting that actually came with the farm is coming up here to uh, the right-hand side. Uh, it looks like he planted it. It needs to be harvested, and that way we could sell that grain and get some revenue uh, coming in. It's a pretty big, uh, decent sized field. And here we are at the dealership and both of the things are out front which is great. And here's the low boy. It was a pretty affordable low boy but it is needed because if the tractor breaks down we will have no way to bring it back over here and we definitely do need this uh, for getting some new equipment coming up. Let's get attached here. Now I do have manual attaching installed and I have noticed that there are a few differences there which uh, hopefully we can get worked out. Let's kind of see can we slide that fifth wheel back. This definitely needed and really quickly let's get those uh, folded out and we should be able to get uh, it <laughs> loaded on pretty quickly. And here is the auger wagon I decided to purchase. It is used. It was used for two uh, harvest seasons. The dealership told me $30,000 for it new. I would say these are around $45 to $50. We'll be starting off with used equipment because we are trying to grow the farm and we don't have much cash uh, and we do have a big loan that we have to pay back. This auger wagon should be all we need to unload uh, that combine. And I also kind of looked into the future, and this should be able to last us at least a few uh, seasons. I don't want to buy something, grow out of it in a few months. It's not something I think that would be a smart a business uh, kind of way to go about it.
Perfect, we got the auger wagon on, ready to go here for us, which is great. And let's kind of get the PTO disconnected there. Now our local dealer is mainly a case dealer, but on a special request, uh, they could get us some new John Deere tractors or even uh, other uh, brands of equipment, which is going to come in pretty helpful for us. Now with manual attaching, it actually did change my controls on my uh, controller. I do use the Xbox controller and I much prefer it uh, for farming some later. The main goal over the next week, week and a half, is to kind of finish all these projects uh, and tasks that the previous owners were not able to finish. Once that's complete, uh, we will be buying animals, buying some new fields, and uh, adding some buildings here to the farm. I definitely want to kind of get into maybe pigs or sheep. Uh, let me know down below which one, and also, I want to have a nice chicken coop, probably uh, kind of right behind uh, this area here. It looks like we might already have one, and we just need to buy the uh, chickens. We'll have to look into all of that, but first I really want to do this because that is some money, probably uh, thirty, forty thousand dollars in grain that we could sell from this uh, field. So luckily, uh, we could uh, use these leftovers to help fund kind of the next purchases uh, for the farm. The combine is probably all warmed up there for us, which is great. Uh, let's uh, get this tractor and auger wagon out to the field, and then we'll come back here for that, and we'll be ready to go. If you guys have not already, leave a like and let me know down below how you are enjoying the farming series. I am trying to be as realistic as possible here and kind of role play it and kind of cut out uh, some of the stuff from the videos. I think that's going to help out as well. So we got everything, the PTO, all ready to go. Now I decided that the uh, John Deere tractor we have here, the biggest one we actually own, uh, the 8100 should be good enough uh, for this auger wagon. It's, it's probably a bit uh, too small of a tractor, but it should be good uh, at least to get us going here. And this should be a pretty good area here for us to kind of get this parked. We do want to stay off the road. And what I have been noticing driving over here from the uh, shop is that the, we definitely need to look into repairing these axles. The wheels are wobbling just a bit. And I can actually see that uh, the uh, axles have been a lot of wear and tear on it. And that's the uh, cause of it. But let's get the combine and we'll get going on this big field. The combine is ready to go here. We don't have a header trailer like I have touched upon. That's something we'll have to buy. And uh, maybe we will hold off because I think this uh, combine will be going and uh, probably funding the down payment to the new uh, uh, combine, which I think should be pretty exciting. Pretty tight squeeze leaving here. Probably shouldn't be parking uh, the 04 there, but let's kind of get going. And this is pretty exciting. My first time harvesting in farming simulator in quite a long time. We are making do with what we have, but definitely not the safest way to travel down a uh, gravel road. We are just so wide, and luckily nobody is coming down here. But let's kind of switch over here to the combine. Let's get this unfolded here. Looks like we have to put the stair away, a few other things, and we should be good to go. Perfect. And this is canola, so we actually won't be dropping anything in the back. Awesome. So there we go. Our first time kind of harvesting, trying to finish up these last uh, projects, and hopefully we could get them done soon. Now with the role play series, I definitely want to do a lot more first person action and uh, use the manual attach, things like that. And I, I am trying to heavily edit uh, these videos to kind of change things up and kind of remove all the downtime from driving back and forth and just get right to the farming action and to the best parts of the video. Let's kind of turn on the uh, HUD here. Let's take a quick look. So, uh, oh yeah, we are going to get uh, filled up probably pretty quickly as well. We'll be just kind of going back and forth. Probably would prefer to outline it, but for now, until I kind of get used to this combine, I don't want to go too close to those trees, and I'm not sure how uh, the terrain is over there.
more than likely this combine will not be with us for the next season because this is just not uh, efficient. Uh, if we want to be productive, harvest a lot of fields, make a lot of money at the farm, we need bigger, better equipment uh, that can harvest faster, have a much wider head, probably double uh, the width of this uh, harvester head it is at least what we have to do. So things like that we will be doing in that way. Uh, we should be able to make a profit here at the farm uh, while the other uh, owners cannot have. And the combine is full. So it looks like we got in just around uh, two and a half passes here at the field. Let's switch over there to the John Deere and we have to get this unloaded. The 8100, even though it is a 1996 model year, fires right up here for us. Let's get the auger wagon opened up, ready to go. You guys can see those axles there. They definitely need a little bit of work. And hopefully we don't have any traction problems. There is a little bit of a kind of a hilly uh, part to this field. And I, I'm probably uh, searching that this tractor does not have enough. But it probably is good enough. Uh, and let's kind of hop out and get some action here. So this is pretty cool. And I will be finishing the rest of this here off camera. I will be kind of doing snippets and cool kind of edits and cinematics of uh, the farm and all of the things we do. But I hope you guys enjoyed our second day back here at the farm. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next one. And to subscribe for more.